actually, I don't know. This episode, I kind of was not feeling the way the direction that the story is going because just first this the whole the whole like military squad showing up that was really random and because i had this idea of like this world was like full of demons and and kids and then maybe just like like the the only other adults were like the caretakers like like the older women i was not expecting this full crew of military dudes showing up and like opening up the the shelter and you know we, we kind of built up the shelter last episode as just like oh maybe we'll get back to season one vibes where we're slowly trying to like um, just I'll play each other in this one specific area, but nope, that we're already gone. So I don't know. I don't know if I was the only one that thought this way, or what were everyone's thoughts on how I guess how much the direction changed? Yep, yeah, I uh, I wholeheartedly agree. I thought this was the first Mech episode of the entire show. I'm including the first season, so. I felt the same way. They built up the bunker. There was some tension with it. And it felt like within the first five minutes, all that tension was gone. And I was just like, oh. And then I agree with the entire, you know, military coming in. And those guys seem like complete idiots, honestly. He's like, oh, there's some kids in here. He's like, wait, they got me in here. He's like, wait, they do? And <laughs> just throw Stupid like troopers of that in. world. Also, like, and yeah. this 12-year-old kid's, like, out outmaneuvering a bunch of military dudes like really you, you got surprised by what like the the broadcast room you, you got hit by one little thing and then you, you get let the kids run away like yeah it was just it was too convenient the way they were able to escape it, it just felt almost like hammed in um the tension just wasn't there and yeah I, i'm with you on this episode i just thought this is probably the least promised neverland episode we've seen to this point I agreed. Hmm. Damn. I didn't. I didn't really feel that way. I mean, I have, I was fine with it. Okay. <laughs> I, I like. I, I mean, I. Like, well, like when I say I'm fine with it, like it didn't like outright bother me. Like I didn't really have any thoughts about specifically about like the military people entering the bunker. I, I didn't have any like positive or negative thoughts about that. It, for me, it was just like another step to take, and I was really much more focused on what was happening with Isabella. Um. Because I'm very curious about that. I don't fully understand. Because I've been wondering the whole time, like, what happened to her? If she's in trouble? If she's been if killed for, like, fucking up so bad? Like, I I was really curious to see, like, what was going on with her. So I, I was pretty... For me, I was focused on what was happening with her. Um, and like I said, I mean, it didn't seem that weird to me that they would go after them. So it didn't strike me the wrong it's way. Just, it was the military dudes that really bothered me because I like I thought like this world was so separate from like the human world, but like why are they here? Like I thought the whole point is just having kids as kids be eating and then also like the the caretaker. So why are the military well, dudes here? I'm sure that they probably have humans there as slaves to do work for them and stuff like that, right? I mean But then again if there's a deal to not do that to each other then maybe not but maybe they were kids that were like raised there but for whatever reason couldn't be eaten or were deficient or something and so they have to do something with them so they take them as slaves like i mean i guess i just don't really think it's that much of a stretch that there'd be people there that are conscripted into this sort of service for whatever reason I don't know. and they'd probably get like extra benefits of doing that too to protect themselves or their families or whatever i don't know how many there are but I'm not saying it's the best thing that they've ever introduced. It just didn't bother me outright. I think... So I'm not bothered by the fact that it's just humans in this world. I'm bothered by the execution of it, where I just felt like it fell absolutely flat. That like, too, for example... Yeah, yeah I would agree with of, that. Yeah, they get out of the bunker, and then, oh, these guys are protecting them from the forest. Or not protecting them, but they're isolating them, preventing them from getting to the forest. One guy shoots off his gun, and then all of a sudden that monster comes out. And just kills all of them, right? Like very conveniently, stab him in the eye, and then monster's done. Okay, I, I, I it's just like the stretching you have to do there, mm -hmm. and the kind of like plot armor for the kids. It was just it took me out of it. And typically, the promise of land is it keeps you in. Um, so I, I really didn't like that aspect. I think the explanation we're gonna get is this: humans um, do some pretty dirty dealing for them. They're probably under the control of those demons, and I think. You know, what's his face? Rosie McGavin. He was like, hey, listen, if the certain plan right now falls through, then uh, then we'll get you back into action because you can get the kids right. So 
Isabella was like, oh, and grandma alluded to it too, right? Grandma's like the head honcho. She's really smart. I think she has certain humans working for her as well in combination with the aliens that are, or the demons that, you know, they probably try to get them because they don't want to hurt them necessarily. Maybe they even had rubber bullets. I have no idea. But they probably want to save the smartest of the smartest because these seem like Emma, Ray, seem like the two smartest kids they probably ever had. And that farm seems to be head and shoulders above every other farm in terms of the kids that they put out. So I, it's like I get it, but I also feel like the story is just it's, it's not as surprising to me. Like I guarantee you what Rosie McGovna said to <laughs> Isabella when he whispered it and all of a sudden you can hear it. I bet you he said, hey, listen. You get those kids for us, you get to take Ray, and you're free to go That's do whatever exactly you want. exactly what I was thinking, yeah. Right? Like, the show in that... And if I'm wrong, great. Then you, the show has surprised me. But if it does go that route, and it's revealed, like, this is what she wanted all along, but then they betray her. I don't know. Um, I'm going to withhold my judgment with, for another, you know, couple episodes. But I'm very hesitant now, because I feel like... I, the bunker had so much potential and mm -hmm. the help sign, the phone call with Dr. Minerva, it all just kind of, it was just like there. It was like exposition when I want tension, I want drama. So uh, yeah, that's, that's my take. Mm -hmm. feels very much like they're just like um, checking off like the next steps that they need to get through to get to the next part too. Like just falling flat. I feel like we're going so quickly through things. And, and like you said, for how convenient uh, the timing is on some of these things. It kind of felt like, why even... It, it felt like after you go through it, it just felt kind of pointless. So I, I would agree mm -hmm. with with that. Yeah. But uh, do we want to talk at all about, like, if it, it like, deferring from the manga? Or? I was just going to ask, do you want me to, to talk about that, Sasha and Taylor, for those I mean, who are just anime only? or I, I've you been know, anime only, and I I would want to know. Yep, I agree. I, th yes. I think it's a good discussion point. Okay. Oh man, where to start? Um, so the anime right now, as of last episode, has gone a anime original route, is what I will call it. Um, and it's very interesting to see, and has admittedly a lot of the manga readers kind of panicked with these changes that have happened in these last two episodes. Um, and before I kind of get into the differences or what we've seen between the two, you know, source materials of manga and anime here, um, the creator is working with the screenwriter this season. So uh, basically what a lot of the manga fan base is hoping is that this is just their way of reimagining things in a different format or a different kind of ordering potentially. Um, but to really break it down, so... In the manga, the bunker scene starts around chapter 50, and it's about um, maybe like five to ten chapters in this bunker. And the scene where the military raids the bunker doesn't happen until chapter 110. Holy shit. So, so I'll just let that sink in first. Um, Holy shit. And so... Essentially... What is primarily different without giving much away is one, the phone call with Emma and Minerva at the end of the episode in, in the bunker. That didn't happen in the manga. The way that Emma talks to Minerva is done in a different format. Um, the bunker had a individual that this individual was very much adored by the fan base and now we have no idea where this individual has gone this individual from what we know should have been in the bunker they're not there maybe again it's just a different reimagining of how he or her is going to meet emma and their group and even furthermore the events between how the anime just went from bunker to raid by military there is a whole entire arc of that 50 or 40 chapters that occurs that now the manga base is like how is this gonna happen is this completely written out is this you know the author working with this the script writer to just do it in a different way so there's a lot of panic going on because we even as manga readers we don't know what they're going to do they jumped the shark 
for lack of a better word. Uh, see that that does not mm. like that does not sound like good to me just because like I wanted the extended um arc in the bunker. I was looking yeah. looking forward to it so like yeah I'm and very it, and very of like having them like just introduce some yeah so well, there was a thing. It's interesting that that's the case because as we've all just discussed, it feels like there's something that was supposed to happen that's missing. So it's like, so if, even if they are reworking it, they're not reworking it like, very well like, already. Why, why bother showing it? We're just gonna like just leave right away. So yeah. So the hope is that for next week's ep, you know, with this arc and character that is missing, hopefully it just comes in in a different way. But to your point, that execution of you know, what we saw in the anime where they're only in the bunker for one to two episodes, nothing really major occurs. And then all of a sudden they're getting raided by these humans that we don't know. Like, how did they learn about the location of the bunker? Where did they come from? And, and you know, even Emma Ray and the kids ability to fight off these trained military professionals, the way it's handled in the manga has much more background. And this arc that happens between gives much more credibility into why the bunker was raid raided, how they fend off these raiders and so we don't really know. We're, we're, we're all scared, honestly. And I think to your guys' point where you felt like it's just like something's missing, like you're definitely right. And it's something for the manga readers. We're just like, OK, where, where do we go from here? Um, and even furthermore, the last other primary difference that doesn't have a lot of weight to it, it can definitely be explained in a different way. But there was a, a piece changed when Emma talks to uh, Mujika and she gets given the the necklace, there is a specific line omitted, which as a manga reader, we had no idea what this line meant at the time. So it wouldn't give too much, I would say, as an anime only, but it would kind of put something in the back of your head of like, oh, like, huh, I wonder what this is. Like, I wonder why she told, or Mujika told Emma this. And that was completely om omitted. So that, I think, is is more safe in the sense that I can see ways that they can bring that in. But with what they did to the bunker and how they just kind of escaped, ran to the forest, and then conveniently, you know, this monster comes out. That that has me nervous. So, we'll see. Yeah, that was grade A writing right there. <laughs> yeah, Ray doing his slow-mo 180, you know, no scope into the monster's eye. And then the monster <laughs> only eating the humans, not eating the kids at all. Yep. Convenient. Well, you know what's the worst? It's, um... The worst is, on top of all that information that Justin just dumped on us, this is only an 11-episode season, so we are nearly halfway through, and that is and also... Yeah, and there's 180 chapters in um, Promise Neverland as a whole, so the fact that they theoretically just jumped to chapter 110, it's, it's kind of scary of like, well, what else could they be trying to cut? And it's like, it's like, why after they did so well, you know, first season with, you know, yep. 24 episodes, everybody yeah. just having full hype about it. Like, yeah, it's, it's mean, weird. It's weird. There's no explanation of why this is it's happening. Super weird. The first season. I mean, the first season of this anime is one of the very, very few anime I would ever say had basically like a flawless season. Like, there's nothing I could really like pick at from the first season for me. It just it just viewed perfectly and I had no issues. And so it's peculiar. I feel really bad for like the manga readers, too, because I know that if I read it and I was really looking forward to this, like it would feel very gutting <laughs> to watch it. It's, it's definitely something of watching what they did to the bunker. Like I was really just biting my tongue and being like, OK, how are they going to do this? And then now to kind of be like, uh oh, even I have gonna. no idea. I'm just like. Yeah, are they not gonna or it it sucks like so we'll we'll see. I don't want, you know, to make this like really doom and gloom for the series as a whole. I, I a part of me hopes that because the creator is working with the staff for this season that they have a plan in mind and they're just kind of reimagining it differently, but it really, you know, leaves a lot of questions at the end of the day and they're not they're not good questions unfortunately i'm gonna try to remain optimistic because i feel like there are a couple of things that work in the show's favor which is that justin like you and i were discussing earlier um because you had compared this to full metal alchemist one of the, i mean mm -hmm. when the, the issue with the first full metal alchemist was that the manga wasn't finished yet so it went really off the rails um promise neverland's done so yeah so they don't have that 
to lean on. <laughs> it, it, I mean, admittedly, when Promise Neverland was airing, there was or not airing, but just like the chapters being released, mm-hmm. like. There were things that, you know, the fan base wishes were done differently and things of that nature. And that's all I'll say at this point. So maybe this is the creator kind of taking that to heart. But with this, like, they definitely missed the mark, in my opinion, of what they're trying to do. But like I said, next week's episode, hopefully they they tie it in in some way. But it's just so hard with what I know and what the manga fan base knows of, like, this arc and this character. Like... It's it's a it's a stretch of how it can be brought in, but let's stay optimistic, right? Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> no, Sad right. days. Well, <laughs> yeah, not the end on the uh, somber. I don't know. <laughs> Going back to my oh, bunker, man. guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just yeah, I'm just uh, not to keep to you, but I'm just looking at the chapters right now for the like standoff that occurs with the military folk. It's so much. All I can say at the end of the day, read the manga. Yeah. <laughs> whether it turns the graph just read them read the manga do yourself a favor you can even skip to the bunker the you know what season one covered is pretty true to mm-hmm. uh the manga I, so you don't think you have to reread that you could literally skip to like, chapter 50 and then you'll be good i was gonna wait for it. the next episode to come out on wednesday and then i was gonna message you and be like okay so should i skip yeah the, should like, i just yeah manga go to now? manga <laughs> yeah so we'll see Fingers crossed. We'll see. All right. Well, indeed, t- toes crossed as well. Uh, I guess we'll just leave it at that. We don't have really much going off of. I didn't, yeah. I didn't realize I got to be that else. much of a departure from the manga. So that was a huge surprise for me. Yeah. So we'll just leave it at that. And hope we'll, we'll see what next week's bringing. Let's just say that. Yeah. All right. So that's going to be for Promise Neverland. Yeah.